Three Bitcoin Scams You Should Avoid With Bitcoin's ever-increasing popularity, scammers are taking advantage too. In this presentation, you're going to learn about three of the biggest Bitcoin scams you should learn to spot and avoid. Bitcoin is a scammer's dream currency. Unlike bank transfers, credit, or debit card payments, Bitcoin transactions are anonymous, untraceable, near-instant, and above all, irreversible. These attributes are perfect for scammers, because they know that once that send or pay button is clicked, there's no turning back for the victim, and they'll have their stolen bitcoins in mere minutes. The first kind of scams I'd like to discuss are relatively easy to spot. The saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, also applies to bitcoin. If someone tells you to invest some bitcoins in their product or service, and you'll get a 10% per day return on your investment, then it most probably is a scam. Check whether the company is legitimate, that is, they're registered with the government. That said, it's still not a guarantee you won't fall for a scam, but doing a bit of homework before investing in anything is always a good idea. The second kind of scams are those spoofing government agencies or well-known large corporations. They will call you about some money you owe them and that if you don't pay up, you're going to go to prison. This tactic works in some cases, especially when the victim owes money to that particular agency or corporation. They'd get so scared of leaving their families behind that all rational thought goes right out the window. So when the scammers tell them to make the payment at a Bitcoin machine, they willingly do so. The third kind of scams are phishing scams. These sorts of scams are pretty commonplace nowadays, and almost everyone knows when an email isn't coming from their bank or PayPal. But since Bitcoin is a relative newcomer, beginners often can't tell when an email is coming from their real Bitcoin wallet or exchange service. So they'd click on the email link, type their username and password on the imitation site, and get redirected to the original site, or wherever the scammers choose to send them. The scammers now have the victim's login details to the real Bitcoin site, and can send available Bitcoins to their own wallets. Pretty scary if you have thousands or millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin in your account. Three things to know before investing in Bitcoin. With Bitcoin's popularity, more and more mainstream investors are beginning to show interest in investing in Bitcoins, as well as other cryptocurrencies. But just like any other investment, you need to know the ins and outs so you don't lose out in the end. In today's presentation, you'll learn three very important things which you need to understand before you start investing in Bitcoin. Number one. You don't need to buy one whole Bitcoin. Bitcoin prices have gone up astronomically in the last few years, and many experts are saying the prices could stay up for the next several years. Before you start worrying about whether you can afford to invest thousands of dollars for a few Bitcoins, you should know that each Bitcoin is composed of 100 million Satoshis. A Satoshi is the smallest Bitcoin unit pretty much like cents to a dollar. This means that you can invest $10, $100, $10,000, or any other amount you like. Of course, the smaller the dollar amount, the smaller your Bitcoin value. Number two, price is highly volatile. Just like investing in the stock market, Bitcoins are also a high risk and high reward investment. Prices can fluctuate wildly and go up and down by thousands of dollars in a matter of hours. If you don't have the stomach for this, it's best to stay away from Bitcoin investing. But if you like to take calculated risks and you can afford to lose a few thousand or a few million, then go ahead and invest. Experienced investors can ride out a dip in the market price and patiently wait until the price goes up again. The best strategy when investing in Bitcoin is to invest only what you can afford to lose. This way, you don't get physically sick when you suffer a huge loss. Number three, don't leave your investment on an exchange. When buying Bitcoins, most people usually leave their digital money on the exchange platform. 
While many think this is safe, it's not. It's true you can easily access your money from anywhere with an internet connection, but it's also an easy way for hackers to steal your coins. With Bitcoin becoming more commonplace, more hackers are getting into the Bitcoin game. Therefore, it's best to check out other, more secure wallet options to make sure your investment is safe. 4 Easy Ways to Acquire Bitcoins There are many ways to earn yourself some Bitcoins, and you will need to either spend some time or some money to get them. In today's presentation, I'm going to show you four ways you can easily acquire Bitcoins. Note that I won't be including mining on this list because it requires an investment of both time and money, and as many miners can attest, it's certainly not an easy way to get Bitcoins. The first one would be microtasking, which usually involves doing some activity on a website. First, you sign up for the service, then you carry out the tasks they require you to do so you can get paid. Examples would be clicking or viewing ads, watching short videos, filling out surveys, downloading mobile apps, playing games, signing up for trial offers, spending a few seconds or minutes on the site itself, and so much more. If you think you're going to be paid handsomely, think again. You can spend an entire day doing a variety of jobs on these sites, and you'll earn maybe a few satoshis. The second one would be Bitcoin faucets. Faucets are websites that give away a few satoshis on a regular basis, whether it's every 15 minutes, one hour, three hours, or once a day. This is a very popular method of getting Bitcoins for free, because you do almost nothing in exchange for free Bitcoins. All you have to do is sign up to a credible website and wait for your free Satoshis to fill up your account. The third one would be selling your skills and getting paid for them in Bitcoins. You can offer freelance writing, design, programming, social media services, and more in exchange for some Bitcoins. There are freelance platforms that support Bitcoin payments, so if you have the right skills, this could be a lucrative and relatively easy way to earn yourself some Bitcoins. The fourth one would be buying or trading for some Bitcoins. This means you'll be trading your real money, or fiat currency, for Bitcoins. Of course, this option is only easy if you have the money to spend. If you don't have the cash to spare, any of the three options I mentioned previously would be a nice, free alternative for anyone looking to get started with Bitcoins. Four Reasons Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency Are Here to Stay Those not familiar with Bitcoin may say it's just a fad that's going to be forgotten by everyone in the near future. They say traditional currency is here to stay, and Bitcoin won't ever replace it. In today's presentation, you will know four of the biggest reasons why cryptocurrencies, and Bitcoin in particular, are here to stay, and why they're not going to vanish anytime soon. 1. Very minimal transaction fees. More people are finding out every day the benefits of paying for and receiving Bitcoin payments. There are no expensive transaction fees, unlike when you pay with a credit card. Your bank and your government all want a piece of your money, which is why you pay all those exorbitant fees when you pay with normal currency. But with Bitcoin, you bypass all that. Therefore, it's a win-win situation for both sender and receiver. Experts see this as a major reason why Bitcoins are here to stay. 2. Near Instant Transfer of Bitcoins Unlike regular bank transfers, Bitcoin transactions are finalized in a matter of minutes. For businesses, this is great news, because they no longer have to wait days for a check to clear or credit card payments to post. If you've ever tried waiting for a check to clear, then you know what I mean. You're literally holding your breath until the payment clears. With Bitcoin, you only have to hold your breath for several minutes. Usually, transactions are verified and finalized within 10 to 30 minutes or thereabouts. 3. Greater security. There is no danger of having your identity stolen when paying with bitcoins. All transactions on the network are anonymous. 
all anyone sees are just the ID codes, which don't make sense to a human reader. This means you can send and receive payments to anyone without fear of having your identity exposed and stolen by identity thieves. 4. Decentralized, so it's not controlled by one entity. Banks and governments control the amount of paper money in circulation and can print money when they see fit. But with Bitcoin, the number of total Bitcoins that can ever be produced is limited to 21 million. Many so-called experts seem to agree that this limit will ensure that Bitcoin users don't ever need to be concerned about inflation. 5 Bitcoin Wallets You Should Use Just like paper money, you'd need a wallet to store your Bitcoins in. In today's presentation, you'll find out about 5 types of Bitcoin wallets you should use for your favorite cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Each type of wallet will have its own share of pros and cons, so bear this in mind when choosing the right wallet for your coins. The first one on the list is a paper wallet. This is probably the safest type of wallet, as it's going to be, obviously, hack-proof. Your public and private keys are stored on a physical piece of paper and not stored digitally, so there is no way for hackers to have access to your keys. Of course, you'd have to store your paper wallet in a safe place where no one else has access to it. The second one on the list is a hardware wallet, which is basically a USB dongle type of hardware. Hardware wallets can be used to make online transactions, but you store your keys offline when you unplug the wallet from your computer. This type of wallet is another very secure method of storing your bitcoins, as you can just plug it into your PC when you want to send some bitcoins, and then unplug it again when you're done. The third one is a desktop wallet. This is a relatively secure and reliable method of storing your digital currencies, as your money would only be available on that particular computer. The downside is you can lose all your funds if your computer gets hacked, infected with a virus, or destroyed. The fourth one is a mobile wallet. This is an app on your smartphone, which means you can bring this anywhere with you. It's highly portable, and you can easily and quickly make Bitcoin transactions while on the go. The downside is your wallet will be extremely limited by your mobile phone's storage size, so you'll have to consider this when using this type of wallet. The last and least secured one is an online wallet. It's great that you can easily access your wallet anywhere there's an active internet connection, but this is also the same reason why it's not secure. Your private keys are stored online, which means that if anyone gains access to your account, you can say goodbye to all your bitcoins. In this presentation, you're going to learn about five of the best trading platforms or websites where you can buy and sell bitcoins. A quick search on Google will reveal many places where you can trade your cash for bitcoins or trade your bitcoins to other cryptocurrencies. However, not all platforms are created equal. And with the ever-increasing popularity of bitcoins, more and more cryptocurrency exchange sites are cropping up. The first one on the list is Coinbase. Millions of people trade on this site, and it should be one of the first places you look at when looking to trade bitcoins. It's beginner-friendly, the fees are reasonable, and it's relatively secure. It also supports dozens of countries, and has traded more than $50 billion worth of digital currency. The second popular exchange platform is Gemini. It's fully regulated and licensed in the U.S., which makes its regulatory standards similar to a bank. While it only trades a few cryptocurrencies, users are guaranteed that their bitcoins are secured because these are held in cold storage. This means it's less susceptible to hackers and other entities with malicious intent. The third platform is Kraken. In terms of euro volume, Kraken is the largest Bitcoin exchange platform. You can trade Bitcoins to a variety of fiat currencies, or legal tender, as well as many other popular cryptocurrencies. This makes the platform highly flexible and versatile, as you can quickly exchange your money into another form. Many people, however, say that Kraken is not as beginner-friendly as other sites on this list, but is very highly recommended for more advanced users. Another popular platform is Poloniex. 
If you want to have plenty of choices of cryptocurrencies to trade your bitcoins to, then Poloniex might be the right service for you. With high volume trading happening daily, you can be assured of closing any trade position within a short amount of time. The trading fees are low as well. So if you want to try your hand at trading cryptocurrencies, check out this platform. The last platform on our list is Shapeshift. While you can't buy cryptocurrency on this platform, people with existing bitcoins and other digital currencies love this platform because they can quickly trade one cryptocurrency to another, all without signing up for an account, so your transactions are all going to be private. 6 Reasons Your Business Should Start Accepting Bitcoin Payments More and more businesses are accepting Bitcoin payments. The early adopters are seeing amazing returns for this smart and very forward-thinking business decision. For those who aren't sure yet if doing this is right for their business, this presentation should help you make an informed decision. 1. Get paid quickly. Cash is still king when it comes to quick payments, but Bitcoin is quickly becoming the next best thing. Bitcoin transactions are near instant, and you can be assured there's zero chance of customers scamming you by spending the same amount on another purchase. 2. No chargebacks. Credit cards are notorious for this. You think you're getting paid when, in fact, a week or so later, you're getting a chargeback notice from your bank. With Bitcoin payments, there's no probability of getting chargebacks, as all Bitcoin transactions are final and irreversible. 3. No fraud. The Bitcoin network is entirely transparent, which helps avoid fraud. Everyone on the network can see all transactions that have happened in the past and those that are currently happening. But it doesn't mean that everyone knows who everyone is. Absolutely not. What everyone sees on the blockchain are just codes that we humans can't interpret. 4. Negligible fees. You can accept Bitcoin payments from anywhere in the world. You don't need to worry about exorbitant bank charges, credit card, or PayPal fees. You simply need to have your Bitcoin wallet ready and direct your customers to send their payments there. 5. Happy Customers Adding Bitcoin as an additional payment option for your customers is great news for them. The more payment options you have, the more flexible and easier it will be for your customers to send their payments to you. And the happier your customers, the higher the possibility they'll come back and do more business with you. 6. You will be seen as an innovative leader in your market. When people hear that your business is accepting Bitcoin payments, the Bitcoin community in your local area will start flocking to your business. The ease of paying for products or services using Bitcoins is a major benefit for customers, so this is going to be a big plus for your business. Remember, word of mouth is always a good thing, so make sure you capitalize on that. 10 Interesting Facts About Bitcoin you might have heard about Bitcoin on the news and read about it in newspapers or your favorite magazine. In this presentation, I'll give you a deeper look into Bitcoin and share 10 interesting things you might not know about this digital cryptocurrency. 1. It's the world's first successful cryptocurrency. Many have come before it, but all failed. Bitcoin is the world's most successful working example of a digital currency that isn't backed by banks or governments. 2. Limited number only. Just like real gold, the Bitcoin protocol states that only 21 million Bitcoins can ever be created. 3. No physical coin. Bitcoins are digital or electronic in nature. While some enterprising companies sell physical Bitcoins, these aren't the real thing. It does make for perfect gifts to Bitcoin geeks. 4. You can mine Bitcoins. If you want to have your own Bitcoins, and you own a very powerful computer, you can mine them. It's going to take some time, however, as your computer will need to solve some very complex mathematical problems before you get your Bitcoin reward. 5. No one knows who the creator is. No one knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. He's the guy, or group of guys, who wrote the white paper on Bitcoin and released the system into the world. 
6. All transactions are final. Before you hit the Send or Pay button, make sure you're sending your bitcoins to the right person. There's no way to get those coins back once the transaction is verified. 7. Can be used to pay for items in the real world. You can use your bitcoins to pay for many things, such as pizzas, limousine service, flowers, plane tickets, sandwiches, and more. 8. You can see all Bitcoin transactions. Bitcoin is an open-source, peer-to-peer network, which means that everyone can see all payments and transactions made at any given time. 9. You need a wallet to store your coins in. You have plenty of choices to store your Bitcoins. You can use a paper wallet, hardware wallet, mobile app, desktop app, or store it in your favorite Bitcoin exchange platform. 10. It took only five years for Bitcoin to reach $1,000. In the early days, you could buy 1,000 Bitcoins for a few dollars. But in just five short years, the price skyrocketed to $1,000. And experts are predicting the price could go as high as $100,000 in the near future. In this presentation, you will learn about Bitcoin mining, how it works, and why it's such an integral component for the entire Bitcoin network to work. Bitcoin miners don't need pickaxes, safety goggles, steel-toed boots, long sleeve shirts, heavy pants, and helmets to go to work on the Bitcoin mines. They don't need to get muddied and dirty to earn some money, and there is certainly very little risk to getting physically injured while Bitcoin mining. You may think Bitcoin miners do a lot of hard work. Physically? No. Mentally? Maybe. Digitally? Yes. You see, miners invest a lot of money to buy powerful computers. They then install special mining software, which solves complicated math problems. These formulas are so complicated for humans to solve that it may take even certified math geniuses several days, weeks, or months to solve a single problem. But with these high-tech computers, these mathematical calculations are done in a fraction of the time. When it successfully solves a problem, the computer, or rather the miner, is rewarded for their hard work with bitcoins. And this is basically how bitcoins are created. The more miners there are attempting to solve problems, the more stable and secure the bitcoin network is. Of course, receiving bitcoins as reward is more than enough incentives for miners to continue doing their jobs. You may think bitcoin mining is super simple. In theory, it does sound pretty simple indeed. You just go out and buy some powerful computer, install special software, have it solve math problems, and receive bitcoins in return. What most people fail to consider is that, like real mining, it will take some time before you strike gold. The more miners there are, the more competition you have in regards to who gets to solve the problem first. And I haven't even mentioned the cost to acquire one of these high-tech computers and the electricity it would cost to run these powerful things. Solving problems is not easy even for supercomputers, as it requires so much energy that your system can overheat, short circuit, and end up with permanent damage. Because of these stringent hardware requirements, more and more miners are joining mining pools, which allows them to solve problems faster and puts less strain on their computers. The amount of Bitcoin rewarded to each member is proportionate to the amount of work done. How does Bitcoin work? In this presentation, I'm going to show you how Bitcoin works and what makes it different from traditional paper currency. Unlike paper money, which you can see and touch, Bitcoin is a digital currency that does not exist physically. This basically means that Bitcoin only exists in digital or virtual format. Just like physical money, however, you can use Bitcoin to buy and sell merchandise, both online and offline. You can use it to buy plane tickets, high-tech gadgets, pizza, cable service, chicken wings, and so much more. In fact, with Bitcoin's increasing popularity, hundreds of thousands of merchants now accept Bitcoin payment. And this number continues to rise every day. Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency. 
it is not controlled or backed by any bank or government, unlike national currencies such as the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, British pound sterling, and more. Unlike paper money, which is printed by banks on giant printers, bitcoins are created 100% electronically. Secure encryption techniques are used to regulate the creation of new bitcoins to make sure no one cheats the system and creates an unlimited number of bitcoins for themselves. The same technology also ensures that no double payments will ever occur, which is a very common problem in digital products. Piracy really is a crime. When you make Bitcoin payments to another person, the transaction occurs almost instantly and with very minimal fees. Almost instantly, because you do have to wait for the so-called Bitcoin miners to audit and verify the transaction, and then add it to the blockchain. This process usually takes from a few minutes to 45 minutes. While this may sound lengthy to you, consider the fact that if you transfer via bank wire transfer, you'd probably have to wait the whole day and pay significant fees, 1 to 3% of the transaction amount. With Bitcoin payments, fees will only be an equivalent to cents. This is true even if you're sending thousands of Bitcoins at once. The Bitcoin network is open source, which means that anyone can access it. Each and every Bitcoin transaction can be viewed by the entire network, but it doesn't mean that everyone knows who you are and how many Bitcoins, or fractions thereof, you have in your digital wallet. All anyone can see are alphanumeric codes, which don't make sense to us humans, but are, of course, easily understood by computers.